but just more laid back in general. Yeah, that's right. Over, over everything, it's kind of like, yeah. Yeah. Sweet, cool. Once you've played the five main cities in Australia, once you've done that route a few times, there's, there's really kind of nowhere else to go except to take your, your band overseas and introduce it to the wider market. So mm. yeah, because everything's so far away in Australia, it takes yeah. an hour by plane to get to the next big city to play. So it's just very expensive and there's not many people. Sometimes the world's real hard to understand. In Australia, I think you have to work a lot harder for people to want to come out and hear you. Here, it's kind of like people are up for it. You know, mm. and sorry, in the UK as well, people are just up for discovering new bands, which is just kind of cool. Part of the beauty in Australia was seeing the crowds gradually learn the songs. So each show and each tour, progressively more people knew the songs and more people would request songs and sing along and all that kind of thing. And that's, that's the fun part for me anyway. Mm. So here it's, you know, no one knows it. So, great. Our last headline tour, uh, we played to kind of 1,200 sort of capacity venues. So, you know, good size for us, you know. We're pretty happy with that kind of size. I don't know how you can quantify how big we are though. You know, we get yeah. lots of airplanes. We're about this big. It's only really become kind of full-time in the last year. Yeah. Prior to that, previous four years have been just more of a hobby, but um, we've definitely embraced it. It's a thing we all want to do now for the, for the foreseeable future.